Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In case you didn't know, Retouch Pro just released version 3.0 which includes about 30 additional functions. And not only that, Retouch Pro 3.0 is now Apple M1 and M2 compatible. And in this video, I will be demonstrating some of the new functions offered in the latest version. Let's start things off with the eye section, where you can now change the size and the position of the eyes individually using artificial intelligence. In this sample image, her right eye is smaller than her left eye. So let's try to make her eye symmetrical. Let's increase the dimension by clicking the plus sign over here. Let's click it again to increase some more. Let's now move the right eye slightly higher and also widen it once. As you can see, each click generates a separate layer so you can go back and undo changes as needed. This is a non-destructive way of adjusting the eyes. Let's group all the layers together and compare the before and after. This is the before. This is after. Let's zoom out. Before. After. Now her eyes are proportioned and symmetrical. Another added function is called Lips Dodge and Burn. Let's see what it can do for this sample image. So we expand the layer over here. Click the Burn layer. Decrease the opacity to about 20%. And then using a white brush, we start painting on the dark areas of the lips, like so. Then we click the Dodge layer and paint on the lighter areas of the lips. Okay, this is the before, this is after. Before, after. The difference is pretty much significant and made her lips fuller and pop up more. Now let's use the dominant teeth function. Then using a white brush, we paint over the teeth. I believe what it's trying to do is desaturate the yellowness on the teeth without adding brightness to it. So it's different from the white teeth function. And this is the before, this is after, before, after. Let's group both layers and see the changes we've made. Before, after, before, after. Not bad, right? Now, one of my favorite new functions in Retouch Pro 3.0 is the new film overlays. This saves me a huge amount of time in adding the effect manually. So let's go over some of the effects right here. Let's use the 35mm too. Before, after. And with just one click, we were able to add a filter to the image to get that film look. Let's try Fuji 5. Before, after. Now let's use Kodak Z5. Before, after. You can always look on the navigator panel here on the right side to preview a smaller version of the image. And lastly, let's try VSCO4. Before, after. Very nice. So if you're a fan of the film look, or you're feeling creative with your image, you can use these functions right here. Now we go to the retouch section, and they have a new function called Fard. Then using a white brush, we increase the brush size just to cover the cheek area. And then click once. And we do the same on the other cheek with a smaller brush like so. So this function simply adds blush or a hint of color on the person's cheeks. Now let's try the eyeliner section. Just a warning, I'm doing this freehand using a mouse, so it will not look perfect for sure. Let's decrease the opacity to about 60% and use a very small white brush. Then we zoom in on the eye, then click once, hold the shift key, and then click again to create a straight line. Do this in small increments so that it will follow the curve of the eye. This process takes a lot of time and practice, and obviously, I'm doing this very quickly just to show you what it can do. During your own edits, Take it slow and be more precise. I highly recommend using a pen tablet for situations like this. <laughs> okay, obviously this is not perfect, but you get the idea, right? 
I never usually add makeup digitally, but it may be useful for other professional retouchers out there. You can always go back and correct mistakes using the black brush. So those are just some of the functions available in Retouch Pro 3.0. If you're interested in getting the panel, click the link in the video description and get 10% off on your purchase. Or use my coupon code at checkout. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing for more software features and photo editing tips and tutorials. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.